my advice for artists looking for careers. Some people call me an artist and hmm, that always takes me a minute to um, try to accept that word because I think of artists, I think of people like Picasso or H.R. Giger. But let's say just for a moment that I am an artist already. That no matter what your field is that you want to pursue, whether it's tattooing, graphic design, selling your own paintings, working for some sort of a marketing firm. I believe it's that simple, it's that, it's that simple, not easy, simple. Uh, sitting down and creating a portfolio. You are an idiot if you believe that there's a shortcut that you can make a phone call to somebody in a department and at a famous firm, at a famous shop, at a famous business and get hired because you feel that you deserve it. Don't think like that either, that you deserve it because you don't deserve shit. Nobody does. When you look at your paycheck or look at your bank account, as hard as it may be, you deserve that number. That's what you provided to the market. Now that doesn't mean that you can't get more or that you know you haven't been wrong, that you haven't um, possibly just made bad choices and are now um, taking your way out of I'll admit that the number of clients that I got, um, sources of income because of my artwork have been because of where I've chosen to go and market my work, network with people. You know, you could be a goddamn hermit and uh, go into the forest and create artwork. Just uh, create masterpieces, but you're still going to need some some sort of platform to sell your work, whether it's an agent, prints, sell them online, or sell them uh, in person. You're still going to have to interact with people. So learn how to uh, speak up a bit. I'm not saying become one of these loud mouth fucking bastards like let's say the greatest asshole that there is in LA right now. Kanye, don't be like that. I think it is uh, on this tombstone I'll, I'll read something like here lies a uh, jackass. You want to go ahead and want to be famous for the sake of being famous, doing interviews for the sake of being interviewed, go ahead. There's no right way or wrong way to do it. But there are certain people that make certain choices that eventually 
some people call it karma. I don't call it that. But your character that you build up, your reputation, it'll uh, help you out if you're that guy that everyone knows. You know, this is the dude that, or girl that, um, you know, stays stays up late, does the overtime, doesn't complain about the weather. It's too hot or too cold. Doesn't need AC. Her handshake is as good as uh, the contract. You know, it's cool to have your uh, artistic perspective, creative perspective, illustrator perspective. But realize that there are a lot of bastards out there, even like me, that you're competing with to get a job. And to get a job, to get a client, to get a contract. And as much as you would like to think that everyone out there is your friend and buddy buddy and it's a Disney world that's uh, me, I, I don't think like that. We came down to it to where, you know, there's one job that's going to make either me or you very wealthy, very famous, very connected, very close to achieving our artistic goal. You know, it could end up to a, a cutthroat. Dirty tactics. They're simply just, um, you know, putting in the, the work out there and hoarding out my portfolio. Man, remain hungry. Be hungry. There's some people that I've seen that. Um, They probably have earned more money than me. And a day's work. More money than me that I've earned in my art career or supposed art career. They've earned more of that in a day than, than I have. And they deserve it. You know, they jump through the hoops and put up with this person and that business and this company and built that network, that reputation to uh, get a big ass uh, profitable job that's all good you know sometimes it's luck, it's a bit luck Millions of us drawing out there, we all can't be that lucky. Maybe dozens of us will be. And for the rest of us, myself included, we need to sit down and put the hours in. And uh, I want this to ring extra clear to these millennials who have been brought up with their fucking participation trophies, their safe space, triggered ass motherfuckers that, me, I'm, I think that I'm being the nice guy at the moment right now because I have seen motherfuckers that gave you a fucking Disney a uh, big fake ass smile. Use you and abuse you. Milk you for your money for whatever energy you got. Do their slave labor for them. All, all in the hope of uh, making you big and famous or better connected.
and respect money, respect it. Even if you got a lot of that shit, use it wise. You may think, man, I got a ton of money. Well, you know, the, the Vanderbilt family had a, a lot of money. And it's funny that it was basically, I think one day, one of the females in the family who thought thought it out and created a museum for art and other people just lost it spending. Be careful with it, man. Spend it wise. Me, myself, being a former U.S. Marine, I could uh, live off tuna and crackers with the uh, rest of my life if necessary. And I'll be okay. I'll be content. I'll still pursue my, my goals. Can you do that? I don't mind staying in it. Staying and working at 127 degree um, office and creating and working that way. Doesn't bother me. They slow me down. No, but if that's what it means to get the job done, I'll do it. Don't rely on your college degree to get you a job. I take you to plenty of cafes around LA, Arizona, Washington, New Mexico. You want some bastard with a degree in psychology to uh, come and serve you a large job. Uh, Latte. I'm bring you that some delicious um, chicken fajitas. They're out there. Me, I spend real wisely, real slowly, real carefully. I had to go do some. Uh, some tattoos uh, recently. That's why I didn't post any videos the last couple of days. There's more that I have to do now. But I'm not there trying to. Oh my goodness. You know, come in. Come and do it. Come here, mister. Come here, ma'am. You know. It's your pleasure. So keeping with this, which is um, expands my my menu, my selection of artwork of what it can do. Be creative as how you can sell your stuff, how you can market it. Attention to detail. Careful you hang out with. You hang out with hard working people, good people. People that you can trust. That's it for now. That's my name on Facebook if you want to add me or follow me on there.